this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes it. now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibayev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this screen right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded players in this division. I mean, these guys. Whoa! advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice punch, man. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward. In this he fight. felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Just over three minutes to go. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspects of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Ooh, what a punch. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush. Great action. Get to that takedown. having his way with him here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an on bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponents will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. <laughs> Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. 45 seconds remain in the round. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's bag down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Round two is underway. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the... A quick entry to get Man, him on a single. that was a great single. Oh. Big slam, take that was deep. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Check the slick movement where he slugged the leg back in the middle. Now he's going to try to roll for a knee bar. He might get a finish here. 
this might just be a matter of time. Cry? No, that's not what it is. Rolling Thunder here, my friend. <laughs> I mean, mistake number one as a wrestler is to try to get your knee in the middle because that's how you ride on top in collegiate wrestling. Unfortunately, in MMA, that presents knee ball opportunities, and the guy just capitalized on it. DC, you got a lot of submissions in your arsenal. I don't know that you got a rolling knee bar in there. I will never try a rolling knee bar. I'm a bit against it. I think you get beat up from that position, yeah. but some guys can pull it off. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Gilbert the ring Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for...